RemNote tutorial or how to use RemNote. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use RemNote. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to RemNote.com or you can simply click the link on the description below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know RemNote, it is an all-in-one platform for thinking, learning, and organizing information in which it combines note-taking, flashcards, and PDF annotation to help users to study, stay organized, and think better. And the RemNote platform is available on various devices including web, iOS, and Android allowing users to access their study, materials, and resources from anywhere, at any time. And some of the features that this platform offer, including contextual knowledge management, an efficient learning, versatile content integration, and also a community platform, where users can share notes, flashcards, and collaborate and learn from each other. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can choose by simply clicking the pricing option on the top panel. Below here, you will see some of the plans that you can avail, including free, pro, and lifelong learner plan. And below each plan, you will see the corresponding prices and benefits it included. And in those options, I'm going to choose the pre plan, and to do that, kindly proceed by clicking the button on the top right corner that says Try RemNote Free. And from here, to create your RemNote account, you can continue using your Google or Apple ID or also by entering your email address and generating your own password below. But in those options, I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. So kind of click on it and you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to wait for it to load since currently it is now setting up your account. And after that, you will be directed in here. And to skip this tutorial, kind of click this skip tutorial button below and proceed by clicking Skip Onboarding. And now, this is what the dashboard looks like of RemNote.com, in which you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can navigate, including All Notes, Today's Notes, Flashcards, and Interactive Tour, in which under the All Notes, you will see here all the documents, folders, top-level rooms, PDF, and daily documents. So basically, on this option, you will see all of your project or notes that you have been created using this platform. While under the today's note, from here it will show you the details including the date, the day, and to start a note, you could also select other option to start a note including to add the flashcards, to add the list, numbering, to-do list, or checkbox, and many more. Or alternatively, you can simply enter here the letters or the notes that you want to type. So let's say book one. Now to see the other option, just proceed by clicking this open menu and below it will show you some other things that you could also do including to insert, copy link, copy rem, set the text as headings, add highlights, move to rem or even delete this rem. Now as you can see we just changed the headings of this context. Now if you click enter on your keyboard and type these symbols, it will show you the other options including metadata, power ups, copy, heading, highlight, and many more. So that symbol is basically a shortcut to show the option. And now to continue the note under the book one, let's say I'm going to enter here chapter one. And from here, if you also want to add or insert something, just click the six dots, then proceed by clicking the insert option below. In which by doing so, you will be able to insert some basic flashcard, make it heading, to-do list, document, list, table view, and many more. So for instance, I'm going to choose as document. So kind of click on it, and after that, your notes will be automatically converted into document style. And from here, you could also link your source by clicking this link source right here, in which from here, you will be able to paste a link or URL for your reference. Well, if you want to upload a source from your computer files, you can proceed by clicking this upload source, and proceed by clicking select files and choose the file from your computer. While under this tag, you can search for an existing tag to add it. And let's say you are now done taking notes 
all we need to do is to go to the all notes in which you will see here that the documents that we just made or the notes are automatically being saved. And now if you want to add or create another notes, you could also proceed by clicking the create button on the left side panel. And below here by clicking on it, you have the option to choose either document folder. While tag and table and upload are only available to those who are using an upgrade account. But in those options, I'm going to choose the document style, in which by clicking on it, from here, you will be able to enter the title of your notes. So let's say book 2. And below, you can simply enter or taking notes about the content of your book 2. So for instance, this book 2 contain a number of volume. So from here, I'm going to enter volume 1, in which these are kind of notes that are pretty basic to do. Now if you click the enter button on your keyboard, you will be directed on this next spaces. And from here, let's say you want to add a task list or a to-do list. So kind of click on the do option. And after that, it will show you the checklist on these spaces. And you can start renaming some of the tasks. Let's say task 1. And for the second task is task 2. And if you're now done those tasks, you can simply check those tasks or your to-do list. And aside from to-do list, you could also insert here a table view in which by simply clicking on this plus button, just proceed by clicking the table view option in which you have the two options to create a new table plus tag or use existing tag. But in those options, I'm going to click this first one. And upon selecting this, the table will now reflect in here in which we can title a specific kind of tag. And below, we could also enter a name, the property, and if you want to add a column, you can proceed by clicking this plus button. While on the top of it, by clicking the table, from here you'll be able to see some other option, including configure tag and edit templates, the properties, and any other option. Now if you want to delete this table, kind of click the six stats right here, in which it will show the other options, and just proceed by clicking delete table. Now if you also want to add the flashcards, can you do the same process which is to click the plus button and proceed by clicking basic flashcards and after that it will show you the front and back of the card that you could also enter. So for example, the front that says color of grass. Well, the back of the card is the answer which is green. Now to see this flashcard, kind of click on the top panel and from here you will see the front of the card which is color of grass. And if you click show answers below, it will show you the answer which is green. Now going back to this page, if you also want to add or insert another kind of notes, you could also do the same process by clicking the plus button below, proceed by clicking view all options, in which upon doing so, it will show you a lot of options that you could also insert as a note in these documents. So there are basically so much more that you can do in this rem note. And now, to add a folder, just click this create button and proceed by clicking the folder. And after that, you will see on the right side panel the same layout which is to add a title, the notes below, and to insert the other kind of notes style. And also, if you want to share your notes, kind of click the share button on the top right corner and you will be able to share it to your friends. And aside from that, by clicking the three dots on the top panel, from here, it will show you the other kinds or style of notes. So that is just how you can use REMNote. Thank you.